Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how you make a blinking LED circuit on a breadboard. Here's what you need. You need two uh, LEDs, one blue and one red in this case. I'm using uh, uh, two capacitors, uh, 47 micros, uh, microfarad, uh, NPN transistor, uh, this one is BC. 547 you can read it on the front of the transistor i don't know if you can see it you also need four resistors two of them are 400 470 and the other two are uh four uh, seven forty-seven k ohm, and you need, of course, some breadboard wires or a normal wires. I personally use uh three third of a uh three fourth of a millimeter one core wire, and you need a breadboard, of course. First, you need to connect ground with ground. And then plus or VCC and VCC like this. So now these are connected with each other. These and these. And the blue one with the blue one. And uh, you need to connect uh, these, otherwise uh, they are not connected. I've used binding cable or wire. This one. So I connected them like this. Okay. Now you can start building the circuit. So we're beginning with the transistor. So I'm using this one, it's a NPN transistor, and it's uh, it works on this circuit. So uh, you connect this one, this transistor facing this way, you can see it by the circle, now it's facing that way, and the other one must be facing the other, the other side. Like this. So just in case, I'm gonna let you know what uh, each uh, leg uh, its name is. So the first one uh, is uh, collector, and the second one is base, and the third one is emitter. So you're going to connect. You're going to connect connect the emitter to ground like this. Then you're going to connect the other one to ground, the emitter of the other transistor to ground like this. Then you're going to connect the base to the other side of the breadboard. And the other transistor also you need to connect the base to the other side. And then you need to connect the resistor, the 470 ohms resistor, to VCC or the positive rail, and then to, uh, to this pin. Same for the other side.
then you're going to connect uh yeah. yes then you're going to connect the uh 47 ohms uh, kilo ohms resistor like this to the also to the positive rails repeat that two more times like this and then you're having these two pins next to each other and these two also next to each other then uh, you need to connect the LED the uh, cathode or the short leg which is the negative to to the to the transistor uh, collector pin like this yes same for the other side the negative pin to to the collector pin and the positive to the resistor the uh, four, seven, four, 470 ohms resistor like this and the second positive is to the 470 and the other pin so this must be to him I made a small mistake sorry for that Let's see if this right. Um, yes. Then we are going to connect. Um, yes, the uh, forty-seven microfarad capacitor to here. The positive uh, or the long leg to the LED and the uh, negative to the uh, 447 ohms, kilo ohms resistor same for the other side and then I forgot to uh, connect this pin to the uh, collector pin to the LED Now you can just connect the battery. Okay. Now you can just connect the battery to connect it to real. You minus connect the negative real and the positive of the battery connect to the uh, negative positive real and they should link and they should link then. Mm. Why are they not thinking? So I found the mistake. You uh, need to remove this uh, wire and place it on the negative side of the capacitor. So right here. Instead of here, you need to place it here. And it so should start blinking. Now you could uh, change change the value of the capacitors. I have different values, so I will use instead of uh, forty seven ohm microfarad uh, capacitor. I will use a 
10 microfarad capacitor so it should blink faster so replace capacitors and you should uh, see the blinking becomes faster if you replace it on one side it will be faster on one side and uh, slower on the other side but if you have the uh, same value on both uh, on both uh, sides you will have the it will blink at the same time so uh, that was this for this video i hope you learned something and maybe see you in the next video